Hello there, kids, and welcome to Screwball Science. I am Dr. Hairball. This is my associate, Dr. Lipstick. Today, we are going to show you how to burp using this soda. Hey, wait, this soda is empty. Sorry, Lipstick, no more burping. This week in our Science with Jesus experiment, we're going to prove that soda cans can jump. What? Soda cans cannot jump. They can, with a little help from something called air pressure. Air pressure? Huh? Lipstick, please place the can in one of the two mugs. Okay, Hairball, whatever you say. Now, Dr. Lipstick, would you like to see this can jump? It is never going to happen. Boy, am I tired of being wrong. I told you. That can, it just jumped. Yes. From one mug to the other. Yes. That's amazing. Why, this changes everything. Wait a minute. That can didn't jump by itself. It had help. If you hadn't blown on the side of it, it would still be sitting there. You're right, Lipstick. The can needed me to change the air pressure in the mug, under the mug to make it jump. It reminds me of how Jesus changed the life of the blind man when he passed him on the road. You mean the blind man who called out to Jesus and asked him to heal him? Exactly. Oh, I see what this is about. This isn't about making a, a pop can get into the NBA. It's about asking God to do amazing things with us. Yes, Jesus is amazing and he can do amazing things through us. But what, what if we want God to use us to do amazing things? We have to ask him? You see kids, she can be taught. Can it, Hairball? I can do that. Will you stop? I'm supposed to be the funny guy here. Can you say good night, Lipstick? Yes, I can. Good night, Lipstick. Hey kids, today we want to challenge you to ask something. We want you to ask Jesus for an amazing life. Over the last several weeks, we've already seen how amazing Jesus is, and now we want to invite you to discover the amazing life that Jesus has in store for you. If only you will ask him. So we are going to read Luke 18, 35 through 43, which says, He came to the outskirts of Jericho. A blind man was sitting beside the road asking for handouts. When he heard the rustle of the crowd, he asked what was going on. And they told him, Jesus the Nazarene is going by. He yelled, Jesus, son of David, mercy, have mercy on me. Those ahead of Jesus told the man to shut up, but he only yelled all the louder. Son of David, mercy, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered him to be brought over. When he had come near, Jesus asked, what do you want from me? He said, master, I want to see again. And Jesus said, go ahead, see again. Your faith has saved and healed you. The healing was instant. He looked up, seeing, and then followed Jesus, glorifying God. And everyone in the street joined in, shouting, praise to God. Okay, so the blind man in this story, what he really wanted in life was to see. He had heard that stories about Jesus healing people from all sorts of different illnesses, and he believed that Jesus could heal him as well. So he called out to Jesus, and when Jesus heard him, he asked the man, what do you want? And the man didn't hesitate. He said, I want to see. Only then did Jesus give him what he wanted. Jesus restored the man's sight. Jesus has a plan for each of us to do amazing things. Jesus is counting on us to spread his message to everyone we meet. He knows there are people who are hurting and sick and in need of love, and he wants to use us to help him reach those people. But Jesus won't send us. He won't give us that amazing life until we take the first step. The blind man said, I want to see. And Jesus is waiting to hear from us saying, Lord, will you give me the amazing life that you promised me? So we invite you to try that today. Talk to Jesus and ask him to give you the amazing life that he has planned for you. Your assignment this week is to draw a picture of Jesus healing the blind man. And you can either email it or Facebook Messenger or mail it to the church. Um, and if you look in the instructions of this video or the comments of this video, there are instructions on how to submit your answers that way. And then I will send you something in the mail. Have a good week. Hello there kids and welcome to Screwball Science. I'm Dr. Hairball and this is my associate Dr. Lipstick. Today we are going to show you how to burp using this soda. Hey wait, this soda is empty. Sorry Lipstick, no more burping. This week in our Science of Jesus experiment we're going to prove that soda cans can jump. What? Soda cans cannot jump. They can with a little help from something called air pressure. Air pressure? Lipstick, please place the can in one of the two. Never mind. Hello there kids and welcome to Screwball Science. I'm Dr. Hairball and this is my associate, Dr. Lipstick. 
Today. <laughs> Hello there, kids, and welcome to Screwball Science. I am Dr. Hairbolt, and this is my associate, Dr. Lipstick. <laughs> Today, we are going to show you how to burp using this soda. Hey, wait, this soda's empty. Sorry, Lipstick, no more burping. This week in our Science with Jesus experiment, we're going to prove that soda cans can jump. What? Soda cans cannot jump. They can, with a little help from something called air pressure. Air pressure? Huh? Lipstick, please place the can in one of the two mugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs>